is unusual. Controversy over presidential politics, but not in D.C. This is all in our backyard. Good evening, I'm Sean Maroney. And I'm Sharon Taz. While the UNC Board of Governors is expected to pick a new president tomorrow after months of uncertainty, WNCN's Michael Hyland is live at UNC with a closer look at what we know about who is expected to get the job. Yeah, we've been talking to students and faculty members all day about this, and several of them say they're frustrated because they just don't feel like this process has been handled well at all. New leadership is coming to UNC, but that's not something everyone is celebrating. Some students say they've been frustrated by what little they've been able to find out about the search for a new president. So we know the Board of Governors sucks. Um, their president, John Fenebresk, is a jerk, um, and they've said some really rude things to students who come to their meetings. I guess I would have liked to like heard more about what's going on so far. Faculty members say they're concerned too. In a statement Thursday, the head of the faculty assembly says about the new president, quote, the secretive character of this search will make it difficult to win the confidence and trust of the university community. I think this is unusual. Jenna Robinson heads up the nonprofit Pope Center for Higher Education Policy in Raleigh. So I think we need to be confident that all of the processes are in place so that decisions are made in the most open, transparent way possible. The board is getting rid of current President Tom Ross in a move critics say is based on politics. Members are expected to vote on a new president Friday. The front runner is believed to be Margaret Spellings, who was Secretary of Education under former President George W. Bush. She's seen here in this video from the Bush Presidential Center in Texas, which she currently runs. While secretary, she most notably led the implementation of the No Child Left Behind law. She's got you know, conservative Republican credentials, and that's going to be hard going into a faculty that has been very progressive and very liberal and rather outspoken about that. If chosen, she'll lead a large system of 16 public universities with a $9 billion budget. The first challenge will be gaining the confidence of the entire board and of the legislators in Raleigh. And speaking of those legislators, several of them are also frustrated by this process. They even passed a law aimed at forcing the board to name the top three finalists they were interviewing. But the governor never signed that bill into law, so the board has never disclosed the people they've been interviewing for this top job. Live in Chapel Hill, Michael Hyland, WNCN News. WNCN.